Hello, my name is Robert Auer. I'm with the Zoller Tool Presetter Company. We're here at IMTS 2010 and we show the entire process of tool life monitoring from uh, the monitoring side where we can actually look into machine controls, check for tool life, check for broken tools. We can transfer information into the tool crib area where we have a vending system. We retrieve all the parts and assemble tools and we can transfer the information over to the tool crib where we actually measure and preset the tools. So it's like a full closed loop system. We start out over here at the operator cockpit. This system could be uh, in an office, could be next to the machine. We can actually monitor the tools and the machines from here. What we see here is like a simulation of the shop floor. We have a couple machines and what you can see here is that this machine is actually blinking red. That means something is wrong in the machine. By just clicking on a machine, I can have a closer look closer look what's going on in the magazine. What I see here, there are a couple tools in there and some tools show up red and yellow, which means something is wrong. And what I have here is the online information about the tool life of the tools in the machine. I can see that tool number one is actually broken. The yellow tool shows me that there is something, that the tool life is actually at 20%, so we might want to do something about that as well. What I could do now, I can select tools I want to preset so to bring them to the machine before actually the machine is down, to reduce downtime basically. I'm just going to select the tool and transfer that information over to the kidding side. I'm going to walk over to the next terminal here and what you can see here, right now the screen is empty and as soon as this screen refreshes, we'll see in one second, the tool will show up in my kidding area. These two uh, terminals could be in completely different locations. I just virtually transferred a tool from a management, from the office, from wherever, into the kidding area. And in the kidding area, I can now print out a so-called setting sheet, a removal list, and I can retrieve the parts, the components I need in order to assemble the tool from, for example, from a vending system, like the can of metal toolbars we have over here. We want to withdraw the components we need for a certain job and we want to run it on a certain machine and the only thing I have to do, I have to scan my barcode and retrieve the item I need in order to assemble the tool. I need a quantity, I hit the go button and I can retrieve whatever components I need in order to assemble that tool. The advantage is of course that by doing that your inventory is always up to date and you will never run out of inserts again. So, whenever the person is done assembling the tools, he's going to put it on a card and he has to transfer the information over to the presetter. So the person in the preset area knows what tools he or she has to preset. He just has to select the tools in his list could be one tool, could be any amount of tools. Confirm with OK. The only thing we have to do, we have to bring the tool onto the presetter and hit the measure button and the presetter will automatically measure the tool with height, diameter, corner radii and the cutting angles. After that we're going to transfer the information back to the machine control. There are multiple ways of doing that. We can either send the data per network, per TNC, we can print out labels, or we could also use so-called RFID chips, where we write information back on a chip and transfer the data uh, to the machine via RFID chip. This, what you see here, is a full closed loop tool life monitoring, tool management system, which helps you to reduce downtime and to decrease errors in your manufacturing process.